Hi everyone, welcome back. So next we have a video from Alicia Vergevering and it's all about our content partnerships hubs. Hi everyone, my name is Alicia Vergevering and I work as a developer at Wikimedia Sveria, the Swedish chapter of the Wikimedia Foundation. I'm here today subbing for my colleague, Eric Lutz, who unfortunately couldn't make it to Singapore. I'm recording my presentation because uh, as much as I'd love to talk to you live, time zones are a thing and they do not work in my favor right now. I'm here to talk about an initiative that I have myself been very deeply involved in from its very beginning. So I'm more than happy to be able to give my perspective on it. That is the help desk part of Wikimedia Sferia's content partnership hub. Wikimedia Sferia is working towards becoming a content partnerships hub that is a resource for Wikimedians all over the world to support them in their partnerships with GLAMS and other actors. There is a lot of work being done in the community. GLAMS and other content owners have always been extremely important to the Wikimedia movement. They share images, texts, and data that we together put on Wikimedia Commons, Wikipedia, Wikidata, Wikisource, and so on, so that the whole world can enjoy and learn from them. And we at Wikimedia Sferie are eager to help Wikimedians become even better. We do have a lot of experience and tools needed, for example, for large scale Commons uploads. So why not share? our resources with those who need them. Now, this Content Partnership Hub project, it has several strategic parts. We work together with IGOs, such as UNESCO, to encourage and empower them to share free knowledge on our platforms. We do capacity building, that is, we work together with the community to help them grow in their roles as Wikimedians. And we also do large strategic uploads of files and data to the Wikimedia platforms. For example, data about cultural and natural heritage in a number of countries. Still, we are just one of many Wikimedia chapters and user groups around the world. When talking to others, we have noticed that there is a real skill bottleneck in the movement. There's a lot of interesting content, lots of potential partners, such as museums out there. And there are, of course, lots of Wikimedians who would like to work with that content, but who do not feel that they have the technical know-how to do that efficiently. For example, how to upload and categorize lots of files on commons, how to use Sparkle to navigate around Wikidata, or how to work with specialized data software, such as OpenRefine. And the help desk answers to this need. In a nutshell, the help desk is a service that we at Wikimedia Sferie provide, a support center for the global movement. Say, for example, you have a collaboration with a local museum who would like to share thousands of openly licensed images on the Wikimedia platforms but you've never done this sort of work. An upload project like this consists of several parts. You need to talk to the museum to agree on the best way for them to share the data about the images. You need to upload them to Wikimedia Commons, organize them in meaningful categories, maybe working with structured data so that other people can find, understand, and reuse them. You then need to work with your local community or maybe even with a community in a different country to bring their attention to the new upload so that they can start illustrating Wikipedia articles with the new material. And if you've never done it before, then it can seem like a daunting task. So what can the help desk do for you in this sort of situation? We can use our experience to judge and advise whether it is a worthwhile project to begin with, we can 
put you in touch with the right people in the movement to spread the word about your project. And we can, of course, advise you on what software or which workflows are most suitable. We can provide training on using it efficiently. And of course, this might make you think, is just one Wikimedia chapter in Sweden really best equipped to make this sort of judgment? And of course not. We're just a small group of people. It's not easy for us to accurately judge what sort of upload projects will make the most impact across the world in communities or languages that we are not familiar with. And that's why the work of the help desk is guided by an expert committee, a group of very experienced and very knowledgeable Wikimedians with diverse experiences who help us decide where to invest our limited resources. So how does it work in practice? Imagine, like I described previously, you have this great idea of a partnership with a local museum and you need advice and guidance from someone who has done it before. When you email the help desk, you can see the address here. Your request is processed by the expert committee. They give an initial feedback and prioritize the ticket, taking into account factors such as how time sensitive it is and does it fill a real knowledge gap on the Wikimedia platforms. For example, we know that the content on the platforms has a bias towards rich, well-developed countries because that's where most of the contributors are. On Wikidata, which is my main area of work, you can find items for pretty much every nature reserve, public library, or culturally significant building in Sweden or Norway, but the situation in Africa is very different. On this map, you can see a selection of countries where we have made an attempt to improve the situation. We have worked with Wikimedia Ukraine, coordinate the global Wikilove's Earth competitions. And we worked on improving the coverage of natural heritage, such as nature reserves and other protected areas, in a number of places where they were missing on Wikidata. Many items didn't exist. Maybe the information maybe only existed on Wikipedia. In some cases, a number of items already existed, but were empty or almost empty and wouldn't show up in a search. In order to run a good, uh, successful Wikilove's Earth competition, you need to know what's out there to photograph. And uh, since the Wikilove's competitions in general, both Wikilove's Earth and Wikilove's monuments are a great way to encourage the local communities to get involved and to contribute more to the platforms, that's why we chose to support them. The expert committee is, without doubt, the most important asset of the help desk. I know some of them are around in Singapore right now, so do say hi to them. I wish I could do the same. Working with them and discussing the needs of the movement has been very inspiring. The concept of the help desk has been growing thanks to their input. For example, we have realized how important it is to focus our work on long-term support and capacity building, rather than on just providing hands-on technical help uploads when it's needed. The thing is, we want people to develop their skills, to learn, so that they are able to teach others in their own communities and develop their own ideas. As I said, the help desk has still not reached its final form. Here are some of the things we are working on right now. In September, um, in the middle of September, I believe, we're going to share our experience from working with Wikilove's monuments data on Wikidata in a series of learning clinics under the Let's Connect umbrella. We hope to inspire and empower more community members who maybe are casual Wikidata users to get to know the platform better and develop into power users. 
we are working on establishing working groups to focus on specific subject areas. And of course, we hope to be able to support more requests and share what we have learned with the rest of the movement. Thank you so much for listening. My own role in the help desk is that I do a lot of the technical work involved in the upload projects, as I have worked with Wikidata and the Wikimedia Commons for a number of years. I wish I could be in person with you and hear about your own projects and ideas, but at least uh, you got to see the face of the guy who will read and work on your help desk requests, should you ever make one. Thank you, and I hope you have a great time. Thank you very much. Everyone will have a break now, and we'll be back here at 11.15 for the next session.